In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a search box in Excel. You can use a search box to look for exact matches. Furthermore, you can also use it for partial matches. Last but not least, you can even search across multiple columns. To insert a search box, we need to add the Developer tab. Right-click on the ribbon and click Customize. Make sure that this box is checked and then click on OK. In the first example, I'm going to do an exact match. Locate the Developer tab, then click Insert. Under the ActiveX Controls group, insert a text box. Click on this and then insert a search box over cell H2. Now right-click on the search box and then go to Properties. H2 cell will be linked to the search box behind the box. So, type H2. Close the window and exit design mode. OK, I'm using the filter function. The first argument is the array. This is the data I want to filter. I want to include results with the first name, so select the first column and add the criteria. Type an equal sign and add cell H2. If no match is found, I simply type not found as a third argument. Press Enter. Type Jeremy in the search field, and here I got three records back. Click in the search field and type Daniel. In this case, we have two matching records. To do a partial match, I need to use two additional functions, search and the is number. First, I will use search because I want to look for the text entered into the search box. So, type H2. Then, add a range where I want to look for this value. Press Enter to get the result. We need to identify numbers in the range, so type the isNumber function. And add the entire range as an argument. OK, the final formula looks like this. We use the same filter function as the previous example, but replace the include argument. Now, you can remove the helper columns. So, type David. David starts with DA. And I have the first match in position 2. The next name is Daniel, since the name contains the DA string. In the next example, let's see how to add a multiple column search box. Apply the following formula. I want to include additional columns, so I'm using a plus sign which is a logical or operator. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more tips, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.